Hey guys, I'm here today with a rosacea tip. If you are a viewer of my channel on the regular, then you probably already know about this, but I wanted to make this video in case you are Googling rosacea or you're on YouTube looking for a rosacea tips or anything like that, and you could actually find it and it's not buried in, you know, my skincare routines or anything like that. So I did want to just do this quick video sharing you a sharing with you a secret. So, if you are new to my channel, I do have rosacea. It's the type 2, sub 2, the one with the bumps and the pustules. I um, do not have a ton of overall redness all over my face. I don't get the typical just flushing of the cheeks like you see and a lot of people relate to with rosacea. Instead, I have these big patches with little bumps and pustules, which I am wearing makeup today. It covers it really well. A little tip if you don't ever if you haven't tried the it cosmetics bye bye redness you have to try that it covers the rosacea so wonderfully that you can wear almost any foundation on top that is what I'm wearing today and ever since I found out this trick and this little skincare um, thing that I'm gonna share with you the pustules are pretty much I would say 95% eradicated on my face occasionally I'll have a flare-up where I have one or two but it is so rare it's not like it was before so let me go ahead and share it with you I read a blog which I will link it down below and in a lot of my research of rosacea a lot of people will say that it's a skin mite issue apparently everybody has skin mites skin mites on their face but the rosacea suffers skin reacts differently towards the um, skin mites and it's actually they or supposedly dying on your face and that's what causes the bumps and stuff is I guess the bacteria of them getting in your face it is extremely gross and I'm done talking about that I don't know how much I believe that I'm not saying I do or I don't but in my research the lady said on this particular blog that tea tree oil would kill the skin mites and eradicate them face mites I think that's what they're called anyways something really gross so what she said she did is she made a 50-50% roller ball, which is right here, of a facial oil and tea tree oil. I myself prefer jojoba oil. It is probably the least greasy. It is the most like your natural oils in your skin. This is the one I use from Desert Essence. It's, I mean, it's worked fine for me. And then I have the Desert Essence 100% Australian tea tree oil, which I have actually used the Young Living Tea Tree Oil and this one worked just as well so I'll probably continue to purchase this. I'm actually almost out of it and I use this little roller ball. You can get them on Amazon and I'll just um, show you in case you don't know. The top, if you put your cap on it and like do it like that, it will pop the little roller out and I just pour 50% jojoba oil, 50% tea tree oil then you just put the little roller back on it and you put your cap on and when you screw your cap on it will push the roller ball back down into it and then I just gently mix them up and when I'm done with my washing of the face and everything I just roll this little roller ball all over my rosacea patches and I do tend to get some breakouts on my chin so I'll roll it there and anywhere you have any breakouts because tea tree oil is very good for that I'll let it soak in for a little bit and sometimes I'll massage it in and then if I want to go in with a moisturizer or face oil on top I will but I do put the tea tree oil mix on before you know a moisturizer or face oil. I do it twice a day. I do it morning and night. I wear it under my makeup. I just don't want to go crazy with it. When I first started this I've been using this since the summer. I started it maybe June or July 2016 and right now it's April 2017. I went probably close to a week without wearing any makeup and I would apply this little roller ball probably at least five times a day. She in this blog that I'll link she goes through pretty much like a day-to-day -day of how her skin's reacting and it definitely did start getting worse before it would get better and then it would be good for a few days and then it would get worse again. And it went on for a little while, but after that initial probably, I don't know, six to eight weeks, 
it's like everything just stayed gone. And I don't even like to say it because I don't want to jinx myself. I know it's not like just sure luck. But everything would definitely dry out. And I would need to use more moisturizer at first. And everything just started, you know, getting smaller and smaller. And the pustules, I wasn't getting them coming back as much as before. The overall redness in my face has gone down dramatically. I don't think... You know, they say rosacea is not curable. You can't ever get rid of it. But I feel like the longer that I go without pustules, that the actual redness of my face gets less and less. Um, I do have a foundation routine video on my channel that I will link down below. And you can see at the beginning what my rosacea looks like. And I mean, yeah, it's not like 100% great. I don't think that it's ever going to be that way. But compared to how it had been, it is so much better. It's manageable. I can put the Bye Bye Redness on my cheeks and I could go out in public without, you know, a whole face of makeup. Um, it's just, it's really made a big difference in my skin. So I did want to share just this in a video all by itself so that if you do suffer from rosacea and you're trying to find tips that, you know, give it a shot because I know... I have looked up so much stuff online. I have done so much YouTube tips. And so many of the videos are people trying to sell this like cure that if you buy their book, you can find out. Or you have these really weird videos or some that just don't even, uh, I don't know. They're just not helpful. Or people really don't have that bad a skin. And mine has been really bad. If you Google image rosacea type 2 or rosacea pustules, that is what my cheeks looked like. I would get so nervous thinking, you know, it is spreading so far. How far is it going to spread? Is it going to take up my whole face? A little backstory. This video is turning into more than I thought it would be. But you've already got the secret or the tip that I have. So you can X out now if you're not interested. I think it was this cheek. Yeah, it started out with like this tiny little spot. I was around 30. 30, 31, I don't know, something like that. It was after I had my first daughter. And it was just this tiny spot and I could never get it to go away. And it started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I didn't think it was rosacea because I didn't have like the flushing symptoms. And then I got a tiny spot over here. Well, at that point I went to the dermatologist because I was worried it was skin cancer. You know, anytime you have something weird on your face and they said no, you know, she wasn't even sure if it was really rosacea. And she prescribed me Retin-A. I did Retin-A. It didn't help. I've done the over-the-counter Prosacea. It didn't, I mean, it would help. A, like everything I would try before would help for like a week or two. And then it would go back to being bad. I've used the Rodin and Field Soothe lines. So don't try to sell me on that one because it doesn't work at all. Um, I've done the Finacea gel, which is, ugh very expensive prescription medication. I did do one laser treatment. I know it was only one, but it didn't do anything and the rosacea kept getting worse. So I feel like if it was to help at all, then it wouldn't have gotten even worse. You know what I mean? Um, I've done everything and I have used the Zen Med line for rosacea. And as far as a skincare line, that one was actually pretty good. I'm not going to say it cured it, but it really helped my skin tremendously. And I almost wish I would have been using it when I was using this. Because I'm kind of curious how the two would have worked in combination. I may have to try that again. Because it was actually a pretty nice line for skincare. So coupled with this, it could be good. But that's the only skincare line that has ever made a difference. I definitely think using a face wash that doesn't have a lot of lather foam is key anything that has a lot of you know foaming probably sls it definitely it tends to irritate my rosacea um the sun is a big trigger definitely this time of year we're starting to approach summer it's a downfall um so anyways that is just my tip i will probably do an updated skincare routine within the next month because it's kind of changed a little bit since my previous one i'll try to remember to link I will try to remember to link all of my rosacea videos down below so that if you do suffer, you can check those out because there is not a whole lot of info out there and I definitely want to help anybody that suffers from it because I know what it's like. So I hope somebody got this tip and it helps you out. If I've ever told you this and you've tried it, 
please let me know if it helped you at all. Just definitely stick with it. Be consistent. At least give it, you know, two months of multiple times a day use before you give up. So that is all. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.